oscillating pedestal fan is one of the most common fans used in homes. The height makes it useful for moving air through a space or for pushing air in or out of a window. There are a variety of fans available with different speeds and sizes. Generally, the more powerful the fan is, the louder it is. But this also depends on the blade design. Models with more blades will be quieter. The oscillation setting can be used to cover a larger area. The breeze will make it feel cooler than the actual indoor temperature. So this can be useful on the hottest summer days. On the other hand, the stationary mode is most effective when used to create a cross breeze. Cross flow ventilation, or a cross breeze, is the process of bringing in fresh air by creating a path for it to flow through your home and out the opposite side. To cool a home, it's best to pull air in from the north or shaded side of your home and exhaust the air out of the south. As well, note the direction of any prevailing wind, as that can help push air through the home. You can also take advantage of the stack effect, where warm air naturally rises to the top of your home. Simply pull in air from the basement or main floor and push it out of the top floor to encourage a natural upward airflow. The amount of cooling is dependent on the outdoor temperature and the layout of your home. So you may need several fans for this to work. A window fan, box fan, and pedestal fan can all be used in combination to help move air throughout a space. A window fan drawing cool air into a bedroom can help you sleep comfortably. A large window or patio screen door might benefit from a box or pedestal fan. You might also need some extra fans to help move the air through hallways and around corners. Now, even if you have a portable air conditioner, a cross breeze can be a good way to save money. For instance, run the air conditioner for a few hours during the hottest part of the day, and then open the windows and use fans during the evening. You might think that placing a fan right next to the window will result in the most airflow. In reality, this isn't completely true when you consider physics. Bernoulli's principle describes the relationship between the speed and pressure of any fluid. When the speed of a fluid increases, its pressure decreases. And when the speed decreases, its pressure increases. This is the very same principle that allows airplanes to fly. We can demonstrate this with a quick little experiment. To inflate this bag, it would normally take a lot of breaths and might leave you a little lightheaded. Let's try this again, but this time we'll leave some space from the opening. Now you can fill the entire bag in one continuous breath. It's not magic, but simply air always moves from a high pressure to a low pressure area. The low pressure stream results in the surrounding air being pulled in. This means we can increase the air flowing through a window just by setting the fan a few feet back. In any case, this effect works best when pushing air out through a window rather than pulling it in. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.